Hi. Thanks so much for being here today. This is great. Uh, uh, as you might be able to tell from how I talk, I'm not from around these parts. Uh, but I'm also not from around the parts where people say round these parts, because America's a big fucking place. And if you ever find yourself around those parts where they say round these parts, you're probably really close to like a, a White Lives Matter rally or a straight pride parade or some shit like that. But you're probably also about to have the most delicious food you've ever eaten in your life, which makes the diabetes totally worse. <laughs> no, I'm actually from uh, a worse place than that. I'm from California. Uh, yeah, California! Woo! California is what's happened, for anybody not from California, California is what happens if you were to take America from the East Coast and shake it. And like all of the normal people held on. <laughs> and what's left comes to my backyard. Right? California, you might not know this, they've recently uh, legalized recre rec recreational marijuana use. Right? Yeah. Officers, we know who's holding. <laughs> uh, but it's only after they realized that if you legalize medicinal marijuana, you give people glaucoma. <laughs> yeah. So actually, we've been here for a little bit of time. We've been here since uh, 2010, my wife and I. So we're like uh, hipster immigrants. We came here before it was cool. <laughs> and uh, we came so my wife could go to the veterinary school, which is really great for her because the two things that she loves more than anything else in the world are cuddling little fuzzy things and then cutting them open. <laughs> right, which is why we don't get invited to furries conventions anymore. <laughs> and if you don't know what a furry is, um, just ask somebody who's been on the internet once. <laughs> Uh, but it's really great that we early come here because my wife, she loves animals. She love, love, loves animals, but she really kind of hates uh, people. <laughs> and, and like, I adore my wife. I really want to stay around here near her, but even for me to get near her, I had to literally grow a cat. <laughs> uh, and so getting uh, invited, getting into veterinary school in New Zealand was perfect for her because basically there's no one here. <laughs> like, we came from a small seaside town, you might have heard of it, it's called Los Angeles. <laughs> and we moved to the bustling metropolis of Palmerston North. <laughs> and Palmy's in the house? Yeah? All right, I'm from Palmy too, give me six. <laughs> So of course, when we moved to Palmerston, I, um, the first thing that I did was I got mono, and I, yeah. so I go to the doctor, and she says to me, Steve, I understand you feel exhausted all the time, everything hurts, you don't actually have mono, you're in Palmerston, North. <laughs> so, originally the plan was uh, for my wife to get her veterinary degree, and we'd go back to LA, I would get back into the Hollywood system, she could sell horse tranquilizers to Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> like the how to pay back the school loans. Uh, but like Lindsay's career is kind of uh, not doing so well. And America, my home country that I love so much, has become a fire in a trash factory. Like we have the Mango Mussolini, right? He's like the, uh, the pussy grabber in chief. We have like refugee children in cages. We have the real housewives of Flea Fuck Iowa, where they are right now. But really, those aren't like real talk here. That's not the, the scariest thing that's going on in America right now. And we're not really supposed to say what the scariest thing in America is, but it's like it's not PC, but I'm not PC. I'll be brave, I'll tell you the real truth, right? It's the terrorists, man. And you guys know exactly who I'm, I can say it. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. You can probably visualize those people right now because they look a lot like me. <laughs> right? I'm not even really talking about like, the, the beard stuff. I'm talking about the pallor, right? not the, the whiteness. Because it turns out how you make terrorists in America is you somehow manage to convince straight white dudes that they're the real victims. Right? <laughs> So, as I said, we're like hipster uh, uh, immigrants. We're here already. We figured it out to come to New Zealand. So now that we're here, I'm pretty sure New Zealand should uh, build a wall. <laughs> but I don't know if a wall will work. You guys already have a pretty good moat. In this uh, so what we need is a dome. We need uh, New Zealand to build a dome and make America pay for it. <laughs> 
Because you don't want crazy rich merkins coming here. You don't want them coming over, destroying their own society, and then bringing the behaviors over here that made that happen, right? So there's this guy, uh, you might have heard his name, Peter Thiel, he's a billionaire. Uh, he uh, bought, he purchased citizenship for $50 million, and he made like this um, mansion bunker down in the South Island. So when, you know, instead of investing that $50 million in, I don't know, a living wage or something, and stopping the apocalypse from happening there, he's got a place to come hide. So I think we can't reward that. So I want everyone here, let's make a deal. When the end times come, let's not eat each other. Because I know, like, right, I look, I look pretty fucking delicious. My, my meat is heavily marbled. I'm like the Wagyu beef of people. Because uh, I drink a lot of beer, and there are certain parts of me that I get massaged on the regular. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, no, let's not, let's not do that though, right? Because there's only enough of me to go around. Let's, let's not eat each other. Let's find ourselves together. Let's get to the South Island. Let's eat Peter Thiel. <laughs> and then we can live in the mansion bunker until all this just blows up. Right? All right, so according to the U.S. Witness Protection Service, my name is Steve Barr. Thank you very much. Everybody.